everybody, it's me, Jimmy V, coming at you from the dummyblog.com studios here in Orlando, Florida. The new and improved dummyblog.com studio, actually. And this is an unboxing part of my quarantine video series of unboxings. I promised an unboxing of something that wasn't a ventriloquist figure that I thought you might like. I've got it here. Hopefully it's still in one piece. Uh, it was one of those things that came over in the move, uh, boxed, and has been sitting in a box for a while. So we're going to unbox this bad boy and check it out. I'm excited to put this up here in the studio uh, as part of a display. Let's see. Opening it up. As I said, this is not a ventriloquist figure, but it does fall in the puppet uh, category. And actually, it is kind of, kind of a marionette. Um, and in fact, um, it was through marionettes that I actually got involved in ventriloquism for the second time in my life, which was the time I actually learned how to do it. The first time I got into ventriloquism when, it was when, I, was, when I was eight years old, I wanted to be a ventriloquist after I saw a ventriloquist do magic at my school, magic event at my school. And um, for Christmas, I got a Juro a Howdy Doody uh, pull string little vent figure from my grandmother. And that kind of got me started. I just never really learned vent at that point in my life. It wasn't until years, uh, 10 years later, um, when I was in college, freshman in college, that I began making marionettes and then ran into a guy who had a marionette car in the mall. And I started working for him demonstrating, um, you know, wraparound puppets and marionette puppets uh, to mall passerbyers and uh, trying to get them to buy these for the holidays. And he pulled out a ventriloquist figure, started doing vent for some kids. And I was like, you gotta teach me how to do that. And he encouraged me to get a book from the library on ventriloquism, said it was really easy to learn. You could teach yourself very easily, which I was very skeptical about because I had at one point when I was little tried to teach myself and didn't have any luck. So, Probably didn't have any patience is really what I didn't have. So I did, I went to the bookstore, went to a Barnes and Noble and they had one book at the time on ventriloquism in the system, not even at the store. I had to order it in. I ordered it in, read the book cover to cover, practiced ventriloquism and taught myself how to do it in 30 days. I went back to the guy after that and showed him I could do ventriloquism. And then he brought me over to his house and he had all of this magic, uh, apparatus and props and illusions and he had several ventriloquist figures that were just really cool an insole davenport figure that was loaded he had an axtell chimp introduced me to axtell expressions at that point in time and i was on my way that was the beginning this is kind of an homage to that whole story in the sense that it is a marionette or at least a uh, statue of a marionette. And it is a statue of a marionette, which you all will be very familiar with, Howdy Doody, which is fitting because how the, my very first ventriloquist dummy, as I just told you, was a Howdy Doody dummy. So, this is, um, I don't know if it's like, you know, Danbury Mint or one of these, you know, replica companies made this um, figure statue of Howdy Doody, the marionette, and I was able to get a hold of one of these things. Not easy to uh, unbox here. And I'm being very delicate because I don't want to accidentally cut some strings that are here. So, oh, here we go. 
This is a very interesting display piece because it has a stand that holds the puppet and allows it to hang like an actual marionette, which is cool. All right, we're getting closer. Like I said, this is kind of delicate and has strings. I'm trying not to break those as I take this wrap off of old Howdy here. I got this also in an auction. Look at this. Look at this. There's a string hanging here. Did I, I hope I didn't cut that? Nope. Okay, let's turn this. Maybe we can hang that on that like that. Whoop. Oh, we can turn this whole thing to the front. It's really got a nice base, nice little stand going on here. There's a little screw that you can tighten here. What do we got? Another string down here. So we got the legs. This must be the arm string, hand string. Okay, so there we go. I can actually, if I move this to the back, and then, uh, it's, it's hung up now. Move this to the back and kind of turn it to the front. Oh, turn it, no, it's twisted. And put this here and put that. Okay, there. Let's see. Let me see uh, who makes this. Um, this came from the Danbury Mint. It's porcelain, uh, hands, feet, face with um oh it's got i don't know if this is this can come up or not but it's got little joints here in fact it's got like little hooks and eyes and it this feels like yeah it is connected it's got little hook and eye joints for the knees and has a little joint at the elbows Um, let me get these arm strings inside the leg strings. Eh, there we go. I mean, I guess, in a sense, you can, could actually, you know, manipulate this thing. Do, do, do. If you unscrew this, you could take the top. Well, let's just, let's give it a whirl. Let me cut this little tag off. And I'm just going to give this a little whirl just for the fun of it. And we should take off that other uh, piece of wrap here first. So we can get it. Let's get my some breathing room here. Okay. Got it. I think I got it. Got it? Howdy, come on. Gee, Buffalo Bob. Okay. Let me see if I can get this off of here. No, no, it's not. It's not. Eat. Uh, yeah, it'll work its way off. There we go. There we go. So look, you can kind of. I mean, it's not, it's not designed necessarily for this, but... You got the leg string. Do, 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 There you go. Howdy doody. Marionette. Lots of fun. Again, not a ventriloquist puppet. The mouth does not move, although it's in an open position as if it did kind of move. It's got this little um, round cap that screws on to hold it together. Let me see. I'm going to screw that bad boy down. Uh, and then, I don't know if you saw this, but the base... Oh, I did that again. Coming around. The base is a nice... Got a nice, like, star design on it. He's got a nice little bandana. It's really well done. And quite... Um, Quite a nice display thing um, for the room. 
I don't know if I want to display with his hands flexed like that. It's kind of weird. Uh, maybe you can put one up, one down like that. That might be cool. Looks like he's like waving. But there it is. Howdy doody. Marionette on a stand by the Danbury Mint porcelain cloth clothes. Pretty nice. And I'm really excited to have this guy gracing the dummybog.com studio shelves here. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. It's me, Jimmy V, coming at you from Orlando, Florida. Hope that you uh, are doing well out there and being safe. And until next time, keep venting.